everyone, it's Lourdes Galang of WorkingMomsJourney.com and OFWBusinessIdeas.com So in today's video, ikikwento ko naman sa inyo ngayon yung journey ko kung paano ba ako napasok sa MLM industry or paano ko ba natutunang pasukin ang network marketing industry. Natutunang pasukin talaga eh no. Kasi nung una, negative talaga ako about MLM. Ang tingin ko sa MLM or sa network marketing business or company or kung ano pa man yan, parang cheap. yon negative talaga kasi sumasahod ako ng okay as a sales consultant sa Carphon Warehouse. So, parang hindi ko iniisip na kailangan ko yung sinasabi na ng extra income or pwede kang kumita ng malaki dito. So, parang tingin ko din nun, parang scam. Kasi nga, yung, yung mga promises ng mga taong naririnig ko, ganun, parang hindi siya ko panipaniwala. Which I'm sure some of you, mga OFW or working moms who are listening right now, syempre may mga ganong thinking tayo, lalo na Ang dami ng mga MLM companies na naglipa na, di ba? Sa Facebook, magsasawa ka talaga. Sa dami ng makikita mo, nag invite doon or nagsasabi na join my team. Ako, until now, I'm still part of the MLM industry. Ginagawa ko pa rin yung MLM business. But, ikikwento ko sa journey na to kung paano ako nagkaroon ng turning point. Nagkaroon ng 380 degree uh, turning point sa perspective ko about MLM. Kasi nga ako negative ako before, ano nangyari? Bakit ako biglang naging positive or naging open-minded? So, may mga nangyari sa buhay ko or sa journey ko as an entrepreneur then and as an OFW and as a working mom that made me decide to jump in into the MLM industry in doing the MLM business and being a network marketer. So, hindi ko kinakahiya ngayon that I am a network marketer. I am proud of it. I'm proud to be part of the network marketing industry. Whatever other people might say or whatever um, negative things I might have encountered during my years in doing the MLM business, I would still say na marami pa rin ako nakikitang positive things and advantages of doing an MLM business or a network marketing business, especially as an entrepreneur if you don't have that big capital. So, para sa akin, mas na-outweigh niya kung ano man yung mga disadvantages na nakita ko. Kasi yung mga yon, alam mo kahit naman sa ang MLM company, meron at meron kang makikitang hindi, hindi maganda sa paningin mo or... Hindi, hindi ka aya-aya sa paningin mo. But then, it will just really depend on your perspective and your understanding of the system sa MLM. So, how the business works and how does it help people to really, you know, have a life na mababago talaga. Kasi sa dami ng mga maririnig mo, mapapa, ma, sa dami ng maririnig mo, tsaka mapapanood mo ng mga success stories, you would really think if, I mean, Does it really happen? Is it really true? So I hope with my journey going towards the MLM industry and doing the MLM business, I hope that if you are right now trying to think whether you want to get into the MLM industry or to do an MLM business, that it will somehow give you an idea or encourage you if you're still having doubts na pwede mong i-try. Kasi para sa akin, unless you really take that risk, hindi mo malalaman what's really in there for you kung para sa'yo ba ang MLM business or hindi. So ako, I took the jump and now that I'm here, I know for a fact that I'm made for an MLM business or I'm made for the MLM industry because the fact that after, what, nine years, I'm still here or I'm still doing the business. Kasi 2010 lang naman talaga nung nag-start ako na pasukin ng MLM business. Kahit na 2008 ko pa natagpuan yung first MLM company ko na at that time, direct selling lang ang gusto ko. And gusto ko lang talaga na masubukan yung product because I had a UTI at that time and I had to try the product kung okay ba to sa akin, kung magiging effective ba, gaya na napanood ko sa kabuhayang swak na swak. Kasi, two weeks na akong absent from my work and I needed the product that would help me out. So, May need ako at that time, pero yung need ko was for the product lang. So, ayun na nga, hanggang sa 2010, nung umuwi kami dito, nalugi yung mga negosyo na pinasukan namin. And the only way for us to really, you know, get back on track was to really do the MLM business. Kasi, nung nag ako ng training, parang nakita ko, wow, parang, parang madali namang gawin eh. Parang, Parang why not, diba? Subukan namin. Kasi kung, kung kayang kumita ng ganito, edi mababawi namin yung 
mga kapital na, na nawala namin doon sa mga nalugi namin negosyo sa franchising at saka sa pagpapatay ng restaurant, ba? So, yun yung mga bagay na gusto kong i-share sa inyo sa journey ko dito sa MLM Industry. And, kung paano kami nakapag-create ng husband ko ng system, we're in, we are able to do our MLM business from home. And then, share ko rin sa video na to kung paano namin nabuo ng husband ko yung system. Yung tinatawag namin na online marketing system namin para sa MLM businesses namin. We're in work from home, do online marketing, and then you will just, you know, generate leads. And it's the people who's gonna ask how to join your team. So, yun. Pinahita ko din yung mga snippets lang naman ng mga ginagawa namin. So, pag nagkaroon ka ng interest, you could actually join one of uh, the MLM companies that I'm currently part of, which is the It Works Philippines. Kaka open lang niya this May 29. It's an invitation from me if you want to do an MLM business. Kung nagiisip ka kung kung ano MLM company na papasuhan mo, then might as well look at this opportunity that I'm currently doing now. And malay mo maging fit pala sa yon, kasi pure online business lang to. It's like a model of having an online shop, e-commerce plus drop shipping plus MLM business. So, eto na yun yung, yung journey ko sa online selling, sa pagkakaroon ng online shop, tapos yung drop shipping, tapos yung MLM business. Parang eto na yun, uh, three in one na business sa It Works Philippines. If you're interested, just message me. Um, all my details are in the description box. So, ayan, ikikwento ko na sa inyo ngayon yung journey ko with MLM, with yung journey ko sa MLM industry. So right now, yung nakikita ninyo ay isa sa mga MLM business na sinalihan namin, yung Jinga Juice. Nakikita nyo naman, my Jinga Juice registration form. So, naglalagay ako ng mga forms dun sa mga websites na ginagawa namin for the MLM businesses that we were handling. Now, isa sa mga businesses or MLM company na sinalihan namin ay yung Jinga Juice. So, nakikita nyo noong 2014 pa kami nag-start dito, tapos... As you can see, yung mga submissions, 47, yung sa Join the Fastest Growing Team. Tapos yung mga gusto mag-register, mag-sign mag, mag up dun sa team namin as a distributor. <coughs> so, as, so dito na sa Jinga Juice Registration Form, yung mga gusto mag-sign up as our distributors joining our team. Yung mga gusto mag-7 heads, mag-3 heads, tapos yung join us. Now. So, iba't ibang form yung ginawa ko. Parang A&B testing. Alin ba doon yung mas marami yung mag-fill out na form? Depende rin sa landing page or sales page. And then, yung gustong kumontak sa amin. So, nandito lahat ng forms. And then, so ayan. So, pag-clinic mo yan, makikita mo yung details. So, as you can see here, example, yan, I'm interested in becoming a distributor of your product. What do I need to do to get started? And then, syempre, dahil nandiyan yung email address, pati yung mobile number, then we could easily contact them. So, as I've said, since nakapagtrabaho ako sa Odesk or sa Upwork na ngayon, natutunan ko kung paano gawin yung online business in the sense na magkaroon ka ng sarili mong website, maglagay ka ng sales page, ng landing page doon, tapos mag-social media marketing ka, ISAO mo yung website na yan para puntahan ng mga prospective clients mo, customers, or kung ano mang minamarket mo na business, magkaroon ka ng mga customers ng sales, di ba? So, ginamit ko siya dito sa MLM business namin. Kung ano yung mga natutunan ko na mga technique sa Odesk, sa mga clients ko na may mga sarili-sariling online businesses, in-implement ko, in-execute ko sa MLM businesses namin. So, during this time na ganito na yung ginagawa namin na system sa MLM business namin, kumbaga mas na-enjoy na namin na gawin yung MLM business. Kasi noong time na nagsimula kami, 2008 yun noong nag-sign up na ako sa first Vita Plus as a distributor. I was so negative with doing network marketing or anything to do with MLM kasi nga, ang thinking ko noon, it was a scam or a cheap way of earning money or doing business. Yung parang feeling mo kailangan mong magmakaawa sa mga tao para mag-sign up as a distributor under your team or kailangan mong mag -in. Kasi yun yung perception ko. Yun yung naririnig ko, nababalitaan ko, and marami rin ako nababasa, na articles about it. So, 
kumbaga, close-minded ako at that time. Kung, kung meron bang katotohanan sa pagtatanong sa'yo ng isang networker or nasa MLM na open-minded ka ba or maging open-minded ka. Kasi totoo naman eh, if, if your mind is closed to the opportunity of a network marketing business or an MLM or direct selling business, hindi mo talaga siya ma-appreciate. So ako, noong 2008 nga, gusto ko lang kasi talaga subukan yung product because I had UTI at that time and kailangan na kailangan ko nung product. Kasi napanood ko sa kabuhayang swak na swak, nakatulong sa kanya, sa UTI niya. So ako sabi ko, might as well, baka ito yung hinahanap ko. Kasi during that time, two weeks na akong absent sa work ko. E eh, syempre, bilang isang sales consultant, kung hindi ka pumapasok, wala ka rin sales, di ba? So, sabi ko, my gosh, for two weeks, hindi na ako nakapasok, so I really need to do something. And sa London pa nun, ang hirap makakuha ng appointment with your GP or yung pinatawag na general practitioner, yun yung doctor. So, doon kasi, hindi ka pwedeng basa-basa pumunta sa hospital or sa clinic tapos yung magpapa-emergency ka. Alam mo, tatanungin pa nila, is it life or death? Ganon. Parang na- nasa life and death situation ka na ba? So, kung hindi naman, you'll have to wait for your appointment. And most of the time, minsan one week, two weeks, three weeks, alam mo yun, ganun, ganun katagal yung appointment. Eh, alam mo naman yung UTI pag severe na, sobrang nananakit yung balakang mo, nagchichills ka na, fever and all that. Hindi ka na makatayo sa higaan. Hindi ka makaihin ng maayos. So I was really so desperate. So, I signed up for the distributorship sa First Vita Plus kasi I wanted to get the discount. Tapos, tatlo pa ha, yung First Vita Plus Power Pack na kinuha ko. Kasi nga, Um, sayo naman yung shipping na babayaran ko. Pag tatlo kasi, parang mas malaki yung madidiscount ko kaysa, tig, you know, tigi isa lang, eh, kung maging effective naman. So, alam mo yun, yung, yung mga ganun tactics when it comes to selling, eh, di ba, na parang bumili ka na ng tatlo kasi, parang yung shipping, ganyan. It really works naman talaga, eh. Di ba, pag, pag, pag OFW ka, may isip mo rin naman talaga, oh, nga naman, di ba, tas benta ka na lang yung iba. So, ayun, tatlo yung power pack na binili ko noon, pinadala, yung ginamit ko, naging effective sa akin. So, dahil sa naging effective, I had my own story to tell. I had my own testimonial. So, yung so yung upline ko naman at that time, ay may ginawa rin website. Okay? To promote and market First Vita Plus. So, ako nilagay niya ako doon. Parang may directory siyang ginawa doon sa website niya. Nilagay niya na ako yung First Vita Plus leader sa Europe. So, ngayon, yung mga umu-order sa Europe or yung mga gustong umu-order ng First Vita Plus, sa akin na ngayon kumukontak. Kaya nakita ko yung power ng direct selling. Sabi ko, okay din pala to na extra income talaga, ba diba? So, kumbaga, na-open na yung, yung mind ko sa direct selling business, but not yet to the multi-level marketing. Kumbaga, okay ako sa direct selling kasi di ba remember 2008, I was also doing online selling sa eBay. Nagbibenta ako ng mga pre-loved clothes. So, I was okay with sales dahil I'm, I'm also in the sales industry, the diba? Sales consultant ako sa car phone. So sabi ko, okay to, gagawin ko to as direct selling business, but not the multi-level marketing. No way na pag-aaralan ko. Kasi para sa akin nga, I was so negative about it. But, come 2010 nga, nung umuwi kami dito sa Pilipinas, tapos halos lahat ng savings namin nalimas. On the point of bankruptcy na talaga, kasi... Kasi during that time that we tried to put up our franchise business, nag, nag-franchise ako ng food cart, pero hindi naging successful. Three months lang sinarado ko na. So, you know, that's a different story naman. You can, so, yung journey naman namin dun sa franchising na yun and nag-fail na is a different story din. So, I was able to get that franchising uh, business. It, it's a food cart franchising and may kasamang distributorship din. When I was still uh, an OFW sa London, okay? So, kaka-research ko nga talaga sa mga business opportunity. So, I'm sure sa mga OFW na nakakapanood nito, meron sa inyo talaga yung ganyang experience na kung ano nung mga nare-research na business ideas or business opportunities na gustong pasukin. Kasi we really want, you know, to provide good income for our family. And syempre, nag-iisip din tayo ng paraan ko para tayo makaka-uwi ng Pilipinas na meron pa rin tayong magandang income, magandang source of income. Okay, so I'm I'm sure some OFWs think na yung franchising, yung opportunity na yon, which is also a good opportunity. And kahit naman nag-fail ako dun sa franchising business namin sa food court, I am 
a franchise consultant right now kasi gusto ko matulungan yung mga OFWs and other Filipinos who wants to get into franchising the right way and choosing the right franchise concept and choosing the right franchise company. So it's very important. I mean, based from my experience, gusto kong i-share yung knowledge ko kaya ako nag-franchise consultant. So I, I do know uh, some franchise concepts like sa food cart, sa gas station, and even sa salon, sa spa. So, meron, meron ako mga franchise concepts that I could recommend to you or suggest you if you're looking for one. Anyway, going back to my journey sa MLM. Okay, so yun na nga. Um, during the time kasi na bumagsak nga yung franchising business namin. Tapos, after that, so ayaw namin tumigil. Sige pa din, parang try pa rin natin. Nagtayo kami ng parang small resto business. Mga tap tapsihan, ganyan. Kaso wala pa rin. Hindi pa rin siya naging successful. One thing that I have learned from there is that Kahit na may alam ako sa marketing, marketing graduate, nag pa ako ng master's degree sa strategic marketing. Once you are in the business or part of the business, you are actually in there. Tapos ikaw yung, yung nagmamanage, nag, nag-operate din nun. You lose that sense of stepping back and looking at the bigger picture on how to manage, market, and operate your own business. So somehow, feeling ko parang I got drowned with it. Parang lumulubog na kami ng palubog ng palubog as in sobrang lubog na lubog na kahit anong anong galing ko siguro sa marketing or feeling ko magaling ako mag-operate or magaling ako sa pagpapatakbo ng online businesses namin. Doon sa traditional business na yon sa restaurant at sa franchising business, I, I had no idea how to really run it. Yung sobrang clueless pala ako. Okay? So that's one admission that I really had to take kahit mahirap siyang iswalo na parang wow. Parang not because naging successful yung mga online businesses, yung pagbibenta ko sa eBay, pagda-dropshipping ko, tapos kahit na marami akong offers sa Odesk, it, it doesn't, you know, really tell you how you're gonna be successful in a different field of, you know, business. So sa business side nga ng traditional yun, sa restaurant at sa franchising, doon ko na ranasan yung failure. To the point nga of bankruptcy kasi as in total zero income tapos negative ka pa. So, ayun, nung nangyari sa amin yun, that's when I started to look into the MLM side of First Vita Plus. Nag-attend ako ng mga seminars. So, nag-attend ako ng mga seminars as in, in araw-araw ko talaga pagpunta sa, ano, sa First Vita Plus kasi andun na yung drive, eh, yung desire. Doon, yun yung naging eye-opener ko sa MLM business opportunity. Kasi nga, we were really down. As in, la- sa lahat na ng area ata ng boycott that time, parang feeling ko, I was so down, I was so depressed. And then, na-realize ko, teka lang, I-, I have, you know, first Vita Plus. So, I have four accounts there. Might as well, you know, use it. You know, check the MLM side of it. So, noon naka-attend ako ng training sa MLM. Tapos, parang doon na-open yung eyes ko. Naging eye-opener talaga sa akin yung experience ko na yun na, from Monday to Friday, nandun ako, you know, attending all the trainings, naintindihan ko yung sistema, hanggang sa na-appreciate ko, hanggang sa nagkaroon ako ng desire to succeed in the MLM industry. Ganon yung naging effect sa akin. So before, sobrang negative ako kasi feeling ko cheap, scam, or basta kung ano-anong pangit na, na, na masasabi ko talaga sa MLM nun, biglang nag-380, 60, 480, I don't know, as in yung, yung pag-turn talaga ng degrees ng perspective ko at saka ng tingin ko sa MLM nangyari during that time. So, from 2010 up to 2013, we were doing the first Vita Plus business. Pero, ang dami ko rin learnings in doing my first MLM business. Kasi first ko talaga siya na MLM business eh. And dun yung hindi ko alam, yung upline, downline, Alam mo yun, I had no idea about it. So, yung nasalihan ko was from Cebu. And then, meron akong nakausap nun sa main office o so nag a na ako ng training. Hindi ko naman alam na kung nakarugtong ka na dun, sa apply mo na yun sa Cebu, hindi ka na, pe- yung, hindi ka na pwede mag-join pa sa ibang group kasi parang paano mo tatrabahuhin yun? May, may isa kang group dito, tapos may iba kang group. Tsaka conflict of interest, di ba? So, dun pa lang, ayun na, na dun, Doon ko, parang na-scam yata ako doon kasi pinasali ako knowing na active pa naman yung membership ko doon sa group na yun. Tas, so, yun yung first experience ko na matutunan na kapag pala member ka na dito sa group na to, dapat you stick with that group. 
or kung lilipat ka man, dapat gawin mo sa maayos na paraan, or I don't know, I mean, nung time kasi na yun, I, I really had no idea na may mga grouping, may mga team pala yan. I, ako, ako lang naman kasi, parang ang point ko lang at that time was that I wanted to earn, gusto ko na gawin yung MLM business opportunity because I really wanted to earn dahil nga ang dami kong gustong bawiin sa mga nawala sa amin. Dapat mong piliin yung upline mo and then kapag may upline ka na, you stick with that upline. Yung mga lipat-lipat na yan, nakakagul lang yan. And at the same time, learn to communicate with your upline. Kasi noong time na yun, hindi ako nakikipag-communicate na dun sa upline ko kasi nga nasa Cebu, parang thinking ko malayo. So I can do it on my own. I'll just, you know, go to the office dun sa... Or tigas, mag ng mga trainings and do things on my own. Eh, yun na nga. May nakakausap sa akin at nakita yung opportunity na oh, may, may pera pa to pag-register. So, ayan, register natin for for heads ulit, di ba? Using a different name, yung ano ko, yung single name ko. So, alam mo, nakakasama ng loob na may ganon. So, nagkaroon talo ng conflict of interest. Hindi ko tuloy, alam mo yun, hindi ko alam kung kakausapin ko ba yung offline ko sa Cebu or hahayaan ko na lang. So, parang hindi rin kami move on dun sa ano namin, dun sa aming group. And then, second then is that, yung tinambakan kami ng produkto, as in, wala naman kasi akong kaalam-alam na yung sa direct selling pala, alam mo yung mga discount na nakukuha pa nila, I think this is something to do with Kamada, yung, yung bilin ng bilin ng produkto, tapos ipapabenta mo doon sa mga distributors mo. So, yung journey ko sa MLM business, andyan yung naranasan ko na yun na nga, mag-invite, magdala ng tao sa seminar, tapos i-reject ka. Yung iba naman, willing naman. Tapos yung hirap na hirap ka makapagpasali kasi kahit anong table to kong gawin ng mga upline mo, minsan kahit anong sharing dyan, hindi mo mamanipulate yung thinking nila about MLM. Naranasan din namin yung hanggang 3 a.m. in the morning, nasa labas ka pa, tapos mamimigay ng flyers din, which is, I really hate it kasi I'm, I'm doing online selling and alam ko yung power ng online and during that time, kumbaga, yung, yung Facebook, hindi ba masyadong nagagamit to really use it for marketing MLM businesses? Pero kumbaga, I already had knowledge about social media marketing. Kasi nga, diba, I was working with Odesk and I was doing freelance work for these clients who's doing, you know, social media marketing services for companies and search engine optimization. So, kumbaga, while I was doing the traditional way of doing the MLM business, yung yung magpupuyat ka, meeting-meeting dyan, tapos bigay ng flyers, table talk, at ng seminar. For me, ha, I really hated that kind of system. I don't know, kasi feeling ko parang hindi ito yung gusto kong gawin. Gusto kong gawin yung MLM business. But I have a different way, okay? Parang in my mind, I was, you know, having, having this ideas on how to market MLM online, okay? So kaya ngayon, yung nakikita nyo sa Jenga Juice, this was actually a culmination or a, a result of all the planning that I had in mind on how to market my MLM business online. And nakita nyo naman, my 55 submissions kami for Contact Us, 41 submissions for registration, 23 submissions para sa mga mag 3 heads, sa Join Us na 115. So nung ginawa ko to, as in talaga sumabog yung group namin sa Jenga Juice and that's when we were able to start earning, what, 50000 a week hanggang sa naging 150 to 180000 a week ang income namin because of the system that we were able to create online. Diba? So, kumbaga, yung MLM journey namin, naranasan din namin yung traditional way of doing it. And I saw na hindi, hindi yun yung gusto kong gawin, eh, in a way. Kasi after ng first Vita Plus, we got burnt out kasi... Ang daming, ang dami namin na experience in doing the networking business at that time na para sa akin, I was so, I don't know, I was so ignorant. Ignorant talaga kasi wala akong kaalam-alam sa maduming sistema sa MLM. And I'm not gonna say na walang kamada or walang ginagawang maling sistema sa MLM dito sa Pilipinas kasi meron. I, I saw it in, you know, in my own eyes. I've experienced it myself and... I'll do that in another video about, you know, MLM businesses, mga, mga tips na pwede ibigay sa inyo if you want to enter MLM or if you're doing MLM right now at medyo nakakonfuse ka na. So, I'll do a separate video for that. Pero, kumbaga, yung journey namin was also tainted with that. Alam mo, yung, yung journey ko with MLM was, was never that smooth, okay? 
So, and and dami ko ring na experience nakita na hindi maganda. Pero kumbaga, marami rin na, naman kami na experience na maganda. Lalo na para sa family namin, yung income talaga, yung yung time freedom din. Although sa time freedom medyo questionable para sa akin kasi <laughs> Kung hindi talaga siya pure online, medyo madugo ang you know MLM business kapag yung company mo, eh, tipong pupuntahan mo pa sa branch or office yung, yung orders mo para kuhain. Para sa akin kasi, yung online business, pag sinabi mo online business, is what I'm currently doing now with the, with the direct selling company that I'm with. It's also a multi-level marketing company, which is it works. So, if you watch some of my videos, I'm sure makakasawa na kayo sa haka-promote ko. But, you know, it works. Is, it works, eh. It really works for me, eh. Yung business model nila. But anyway, yun na nga. So, yung MLM journey namin, it, it didn't really make us stop doing the MLM business. Kasi, even if we saw the negative side of it, ang dami din naman kasi positive side. And if you will look at it in a perspective na it's really, you know, a business of changing people's lives. Either in a manner where you are able to help someone earn extra income or either achieve their dreams because they're earning really well or meron silang sakit and natulungan sila ng products na binibenta mo from your MLM company. So, ang daming way para magamit mo yung MLM business to help other people. If you will look at it at that perspective, then I would say that it outweighs more than all the negative aspects that you could think of when it comes to an MLM business opportunity or an MLM business. Kasi, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm into marketing, I'm into sales. And network marketing is just a business model that not just MLM companies are actually doing, but if, if you could, you know, check the organizations nga. So this was 2014 hanggang 2015. And... Pag nagawa mo naman na talaga yung website, tuloy-tuloy na lang din yung mga nag-fill out ng form. But as of now, it's already 2019, so wala na yung Jinka Juice, and then wala na rin kami dito. And we did other, um, and we did join other MLM companies. Now, we did join and world also. Now, we did join other MLM companies. So, as you can see here, ga gamit ko pa rin yung uh, JOT form. Okay, na nilalagay namin sa mga website na ginagawa nga namin for MLM companies na sinasalihan namin. So, nakikita nyo naman dito, di ba, ganun pa din. May 150, uh, we have 150, we have 152 submissions para sa God questions. Yung mga gusto mag-platinum, 24, 121 sa how to join, online registration, 119. So, Imagine mo yung mga nag inquire na yan, ng mga nag-submit ng form, na nagbigay na rin ng mga details nila. So, lahat na nandyan. So, ako pag gumagawa ng form, alam mo, alam mo na yung address. Lahat ng details, eh, nakakailanganin mo talaga sa form, online registration form na. So, yung mode of payment, tapos kung, kung ilang packages, tapos anong package ba yan. So, andyan na lahat ng details. And then, you know, we, we'll just have to contact them, follow them up. So, ganun yung na-develop namin na system sa mga MLM businesses na sinalihan namin. So, I would really say, madami na kami nasalihan na MLM business and hindi kami takot na sumali sa mga MLM businesses and start uh, afresh or and start new kasi we know how to market it online and we've done it over and over again. So, pag alam mo talaga yung social media marketing, you know SEO, you know how to create your own website. Stupid kami kasi we're the ones who create our own websites, diba? Hindi naman kailangan ipagawa. I know how to, you know, the marketing plan, the marketing strategy, the marketing layout of the website. So, yung MLM journey namin, it's been a car. So, I would say my MLM journey namin, it's been a colorful one. So, I started 2008 and I'm still here. So, now 2019, I'm still doing MLM. I still have my MLM business. And as you can see here right now, sa screen ninyo, and I'm sure sa lahat ng mga videos ko, halos ito yung lagi kong pinapromote ngayon, yung It Works Philippines. So, yan yung website namin, www.itworksphilippines.info. So, ito na lang yung MLM business na I've been focusing on since it just opened uh, this May 29. And, you know, since 2014 pa, nag-join ako dito. But since it was just available in the UK, medyo mahal yung pagpapadala ng mother ko ng mga products from UK papunta dito sa Pilipinas for me to be able to sell this. So, 
I really waited for this to open here in the Philippines. Kumbaga sa dami ng MLM companies na nasalihan ko, alam mo yun, simula nang nakita ko yung It Works five years ago, parang wala talaga akong makitang ano eh, kapareho niya. So alam mo yun, in my heart, alam mo yung nagkaroon ka ng, ng boyfriend, tapos kumbaga parang wala na siya naging katulad kahit na magkaroon ka pa ng panibagong boyfriend, parang uh, uh, may, may hahanapin at hahanapin ka pa rin na nakita mo doon sa taong yon So, parang ganun si It Works. Ang dami ko nakitang magaganda sa kanya, na sa kanya ko lang nakita yung business model na swak na swak sa lahat ang hinahanap ko. MLM siya, direct selling business, na may pagka dropshipping and at the same time, I have my own online shop e-commerce business with ano, It Works. So, yun talaga yung hinahanap ko, yung tatlong model na yun, since I'm already doing those businesses eh. I have my own online shops for my other products and, you know, businesses, site lines. And then, I still want to continue my MLM journey. And at the same time, I'm looking for a dropshipping business model dito sa Pilipinas. And so finally, when it works has opened, sabi ko, magpo-focus na talaga ako dito. And ito yung ginagawa namin ngayon. So ito yung website na ginawa namin. Halos... Similar lang sa, ano, diba, sa slides dito sa personal website ko with ItWorks. So, as you can see here, magkaiba naman yung web address. So, ito yung personal website na nakuha ko as a distributor with ItWorks. And then, ito naman, kumbaga, personal website namin. Kasi, syempre, pag personal mo, marami ka pang mailalagay na information na gusto mong malaman ng mga uh, tao na gusto mag-sign up as, as distributors or mag-order, diba? So, ang dami pa namin gusto ilagay na information na maging personal, kumbaga. So, ito yung page dito sa website namin for those who wants to join for them to have more information kung ano ba yung magiging benefits sa kanila kapag nag-join sila as, as one of our distributors or if they decide to join our team, diba? So, pinapakita ko dito, syempre, yung mga testimonials, and then mga success stories para mas ma-encourage sila or ma-inspire sila and also how to do the business. So, ito yung It Works registration form. Again, it's the same thing that we're putting in here, yung mga details na kailangan. Tapos, ang ginagamit ko na ngayon, by the way, is Cognito Forms. Okay? Kasi sa Jotform before, nung nag-start ako dyan, hindi ko alam kung 2011 or 2000 ko ba ako nag-start. As in, marami pa yung usage or as in, marami pa yung submission storage. Kaso ngayon, pinag upgrade na ako. Siyempre, doon tayo sa free, di ba? sa Cognito Forms kasi marami pa akong free space. So, parang unlimited pa siya. Kaya, ito na yung ginagamit ko. So, ganun lang naman kung ano yung mga pwede mong gamitin ng mga apps or software na free na makakatuloy sa business mo. Then, use it. So, I'll be doing and I'll be doing video tutorials for that also. Yung mga free apps ng mga software na ginagamit ko din with my online businesses and, you know, all the other and and I'll be doing video tutorials then and recommendations to mga vid and I'll be doing video to eh, and I'll be doing videos for, and I'll be doing video tutorials then for the apps and software that I'm using. Lalo na yung mga free na nagagamit ko for our online business and also for other businesses kahit sa traditional pwede rin gamitin. So ayan, yung ItWorks registration form and and then meron akong call to action button na ang ginawa ka namang link ay yung personal website ko mismo sa It Works. So, like, say, for example, ito, yung join today. Pag clinic mo yan, ayan, automatic, mapupunta ka na on a different page. So, pagka-check mo nun, automatic, mapupunta ka na on a different page, which is, yun nga, yung page ko sa sarili kong website with It Works for joining the company. So, dito ka na kagad mapupunta. Let's get started. Becoming your own boss starts here. So, yan. Dito na kagad mapupunta pag clinic mo yung join today. Diba? And then, meron din nakalagay dito uh, call to action buttons pero my details. So, if you want to be a loyal customer, ito yung mga makukuha mo. And then, if you want to get fit and get paid as a team member pag nag-sign up uh, as a distributor, ito yung makukuha mo. So, makikita mo Diba? Yung advantage of signing up as a distributor. So, may link din yan. Pag clinic mo yan, ganun din. Mapupunta ka din ulit dun sa join page. Pag naman be a loyal customer, mapupunta ka dun sa online shop ko. So, yan. 
Hindi pa nagtatapos yung MLM journey ko dito because until now, I'm still doing it. And ito ha, kasi mula ko pangalan sa It Works to build my team here in the Philippines. So if you want to join me, go ahead. I'll help you in starting and building this business. Kung nagahanap pa kayo ng MLM na sasalihan nyo sa mga OFW dyan or working moms or even millennials who are watching this video right now, then, you know, try to ask me and contact me if you're interested kasi super ganda talaga ng business opportunity ng it works when it comes to the MLM industry here in the Philippines. So hopefully, meron kayo natutunan sa mga shiner ko sa journey ko or journey namin ng asawa ko sa MLM kasi partners in crime kami dito sa MLM business na to. So I hope that I was able to inspire you or you've gained knowledge about my experiences sa MLM, kung paano ako napasok, ano yung mga naging reasons ko kung bakit ako naging open-minded, di ba? So, hindi na ako takot ngayon na magtanong ng open-minded ka ba or kung gusto mong magkape. Kasi I'm sure ang daming rejections na nararanasan lahat ng mga network marketers. But if you're able to create an online system like what we have created, I wouldn't say zero rejection kasi if, if, you want to do this business, you would have to do the traditional and online at the same time. Mas malaki nga lang yung percentage ng online system na ginagawa namin, more than the traditional one. But, you know, I do enjoy talking to people and, you know, explaining to people about the MLM business that we have. So, okay lang sa akin yun. But, you know, rejection, sabi nga nila, is a way for you to have an opportunity para sa akin na. Yung mga rejection na nakukuha mo sa buhay, it act, it, it, you could actually turn that as an opportunity. So, huwag kayo matakot sa rejection. While you're able to brave all those rejections, you know, the stronger that you will be. Kasi ako, 2008, when I started with the direct selling and then I was, you know, I was able to get into the MLM talaga. Like, I've opened my mind uh, year 2010. And, you know, look at, as now, I mean, nine years from now, we're still in love with the MLM industry. But you really have to choose the right MLM, the right system for that MLM company, the right people as well. I, I so love the, you know, the friendship that you're able to create with your uplines. Lalo na kung maayos talaga ng mga upline, yung matitingo talaga ha, yung hindi ka lolokohin or pagsasamantalahan bilang downline nila. So, yun, mamili ka lang talaga ng grupo na sasalihan. Please follow my channels, Working Moms Journey and OFW Business Online TV and all my other channels na kalagay sa description box. And you could follow us on our Facebook page and also on Instagram. And if you have any questions, you could visit those websites that you're seeing right now. And I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye! Follow us on Instagram and